All right. I have Sean from Rains Daily here with me today. Thank you for joining us, Sean. Yeah, no problem, Greg. Thanks for having me. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you are also uh, of the band. Um, you're no longer active in the band Twin Twin Brother, but your current project is Rains Daily, and you've been really active this year. In fact, the reason I reached out to you um, to set up this interview is I saw your post that your latest single, Make Yourself Happy, will be your latest, your last release of 2020, but it looks like you've got four, five, six, seven different things that you put up on the, on Pancamp this year? Uh, since December last year, yeah, is when yeah. I started. It, yeah, and I have probably, I have almost another album done, but I'm just forcing myself to wait to release it for whatever oh, Okay. Reason. So. So, yeah, you've been pretty prolific as with, as Rains Daily. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's, uh, I, it's, I don't want to say it's because it's anything different from mm -hmm. Twin Brother or anything. I just find myself in a spot with a, a lot of time to create and a lot of, um, I guess, passion to do so. Right okay. now. And I do it all myself, so I guess it's more accessible that way. But I've always written songs pretty quick. Um, the mm -hmm. challenge typically is um, getting everybody else up to speed with how much uh, output I have. And that doesn't, you know, mean anything one way or another. It just means it, it's hard to, you know, continue to capture the songs that come out of me uh, because they do come pretty fast and quick. Um, so doing it on my own allows me to finish the thought more quickly and not, uh, you know, ditch some songs because couldn't get to it or whatever. Um, which, you know, could be good or bad. I don't know, but they're all out there. And uh, without the concerts or anything, which like my whole year was planned to push that uh, self-titled more acoustic album. Mm -hmm. um, and then all this stuff happened and, you know, I didn't have the chance to perform. So um, I went to just nonstop creating. <laughs> so I guess that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, so was the catalyst for, for rain starting rains daily and transitioning out of twin brother was that twin brother was a, was a, was kind of a band project and this is a more of a solo yeah i guess you could say that um i do have um usa part one 2020 part one in the uh, acoustic one i have guests on like uh nick berg and andrew uh from the old band altos and terry hackbarth played some bass on on that album um so it's just more uh, i'm just doing whatever really i want to do and not trying to put like rules on it or anything Okay. Um, and I didn't, you know, start it cause I was sick of twin brother or anything like that. Right. It's just twin brother, you know, had its natural life and, okay. out and, you know, but music, you know, is always something that's going to be a part of me when everybody quits doing it or, you know, stops and changes or whatever, like it always stays with me through whatever changes uh, I go through in my life. So I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not a poser, so to speak. I'll be doing this with or without people listening till I die. So, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. so. No, ab absolutely. And I think that I think that comes across in, in the music. It, it's very, you know, all of your music seems very sincere and always really well thought out. Thanks, you know, man. and very purposeful. I guess that means a lot because, uh, like, in doing this, it's important to me to keep a, a sense of integrity with it. So everything that I do, like I try to, you know, just be as sincere, authentic and organic as possible. So mm -hmm. it means a lot that you actually recognize that and said that, so thanks. So what, what I guess the transition is, so you, I know that in Twin Brother, you had worked with some really other, some, some amazing musicians and that, and that project, um, or that band kind of evolved as you, as you brought in some, you know, as you worked more with those musicians. But I think, I feel like you've also in Rains Daily kept a lot of the, you know, the way you write music, I mean, continues to evolve, but it, it, it's, it seems like you've picked up some of the, the traits or the habits from, from have, you know, working with the instrumentation with those other musicians and then transitioned, you know, continued that as yeah. you write yourself. Sure. Maybe it's just some sort of muscle memory from being around for so long that it just, you know, has a 
way of influencing me for sure. Okay. I can see that. Um, yeah, and a lot of it probably is just because every time I write a song or perform it, I want it to be authentically true to me as possible. And that has never been a wavering thing or something that has changed with me. Mm -hmm. so it could be that that's just following as well. Yeah. So other than the guests that you mentioned, like Nick and a couple of the other guests you had, you're performing all of the music on this. Where How are you doing the recording? Uh, the recording, I just have, um, you know, an operating software, Logic, um, mm -hmm. and the, the vast universe of electronic plugins is mm -hmm. uh, ridiculous mm -hmm. these days, um, from piano to, to anything. I mean, I still obviously play the parts in the piano. Mm -hmm. It's important for me to do that and not just draw it up on MIDI, like mm -hmm. some people. Like I actually make sure I play the part um, and then drums, you know, all that stuff. It just makes technology this day, these days is just so impressive, but it's, you're kind of caught in this situation where if you don't keep up with it, you may be lost, you know? Um, and so I just find like the medium, whether I like it or not, is kind of changing. Um, and I'm trying to adapt and change with it as far as the medium goes and it's no different i can find myself that with those tools just as much as i could with an acoustic guitar so okay yeah and i guess one of the other things is with with the with the tools in front of you does that help with you know i find that a lot of your songs are you know are layered as far as the instrumentation goes um you know there's always it always kind of seems that you know you're one of those artists where listening to it there's kind of something new to hear every time you go back to it as yeah. you kind of dig in. Cool. Uh, yeah, you know, as far as that goes, it's hard to walk the fine line of not do overdoing it and mm -hmm. and really still really liking a sound. Um, like the yeah, so I have a habit of like enjoying the texture of different sounds, and there's so many different ones that can work with a with a recording. It can be hard to choose which ones to to go <laughs> to go with or what. Right to go with or or whatever um so i try not to overthink it um because i think that's that can be a huge problem when you just start overthinking things and and veer too far from your uh natural instincts so i find a sound that, that i like i try to stick with it mm -hmm. um, and just i usually make things too complicated and then try to draw them back okay and that's still what you hear is a lot of stuff. So just imagine what it was before. <laughs> you know, but it's hard too, because I can play electric guitar. I can, you know, do like a part with that or, you know, do the solo part with some MIDI thing or ask Andrew if he wants to. There's just a lot of options. So I guess because there's so many and it's endless, that's why I keep creating so much. I don't know. Yeah, and 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 you and working, you know, kind of reaching out to some of the other musicians. Do you do they influence kind of the way the sound goes? I, I you know, I know Nick pretty. I feel like pretty well, and we've, we've had him on the show a number of times. And he's, I've actually worked with him in a band where you know he's always somebody that like has that creative instinct and always kind of is you know almost acting as a producer, just on sure. hand. Sure. Yeah. Um... I forgot actually what song it was now on the Rain's Daily self-titled. Oh, I think it was maybe Bury Me Dear, uh, where that was an old Twin Brothers song and he had mentioned it and we did it and it was like great. And I'm really glad he mentioned it because I had forgot. Um, but yeah, he, um, so there's certain songs or times in my life where he uh, fits in just perfectly. Like, mm -hmm. like of like that self-titled album I feel like some of the songs on there most of the songs wouldn't be able to exist or I wouldn't want them to exist if it didn't have his part mm -hmm. on it or Andrew's part on it so um he always has a character that really aligns well with uh you know some of my emotions that I that I put out there and he's a fantastic person that deals with all my crap and all my great <laughs> ideas and sending things back and forth and over editing and under editing and all that stuff. And he's always so positive and optimistic and helpful and, and he's a great person and, 
in talent for sure. No, absolutely. So the latest single is titled Make Yourself Look Happy. And it's a little bit, it's kind of more of a dance song or a little bit. Yeah. It it kind of has a different feel. Like, you know, you talked about doing different textures and different instruments. And that, that song kind of definitely starts to i mean either evolve or depart from your more traditional it, it, you were were you pushing that dr- song in that direction purposely uh no not really i was just creating a lot at the time and that was that song i don't i'm not sure that i've had that feeling and if i have it's long enough ago to where i forgot but after creating that song i really just thought like if i'm ever gonna have a radio hit it would be this song <laughs> And I was like, it's like, it's pretty good. And uh, my wife really played producer on that one. Okay. No, so she like really liked it, like really liked it. Like, you know, okay. usually, yeah, that's good, hon. You know, but this one, like I could see it in her eyes. And uh, so I was like, I must be on to something with this one. So I just kept walking it through and finishing it. And um, so the, the other songs that I have right now are, kind of geared more towards that to where I'm trying to uh, fit it in more with um, standard uh, packages of music, if that makes sense, okay. but also not. So I'm, I'm trying to just structure things more um, in a way that's attention grabbing, I guess, that kind of okay. takes you so They kind of have a same thematic or a same sonic yes. texture to them? Well, or? Well, if so, I rap a lot okay. on it. Like um, it, one, a couple songs are just like I'm definitely hip hop rapping. Okay. Uh, so it's, it's different for me. Um, it's all very different from anything probably that I've released yet. And that that song's probably like the middle ground from where I was. Then that song, the middle ground, and then what I am sitting on is that <laughs> the after oh, effect. Okay that was probably the transition and you'll be able to tell so for better or for worse but i like it so well yeah and uh, yeah and even (laughs) even kind of being you know i don't i don't want to say it's a departure because it's not it's just you know it's a it's a kind of an evolution where you know it's still it's very much your song it's just you start to throw in you know yeah it kind of has more of a beat to it and you know those those synth textures so yeah Oh, well, I think a lot of that too is just um, like during this COVID stuff, especially um, I've been, I was, I have, I've been kind of t- took a step back after this last album that I'm sitting on, but um, I've, there's just been so much time to like write, record, learn, editing, uh, plugins, effects, and to do all that stuff and so my way of practicing that isn't just like i'm gonna practice on a keyboard part it's like i'm gonna write a song and practice all these things at once <laughs> so i keep doing it in repetition but i'm getting better and, better and better and better at it um so i think uh yeah make yourself look happy is probably the the example of of that and i still i'm mixing my songs better than that now so it's still frustrating <laughs> but justin perkins i uh, actually mastered it and he did a good job because I was interested to see what his work would sound like on something like that that I did versus okay. something more like down. And it was pretty cool. So, yeah, um, I have a lot more of that kind of stuff coming. And you I'll have a couple. Really impatient and just release it anyways because who cares? It's right. not like, you know, Mick Jagger or something. So who knows? <laughs> <laughs> just ready to get it out there for the people to hear. <laughs> yeah just what's the difference you know just put it out there so and that would be like 49 songs in 12 months okay yeah that, i mean like like i said you've been <laughs> yeah pretty, pretty prolific since since this sense coming on so do you have you you know with all of the with all of the you know the eps and you know usa 2020 and and kind of the the way that you've put them out are you have you grouped them specifically like do you do you look at the songs as you know this will make it you know these kind of fit these songs fit together versus other you know putting them together another way it's all just in context of uh the timing of when i created them like the same you'll see i made and recorded those all within the kind of the same vicinity at time okay so i kind of 
yeah, try to just stick those together as more of like a, like a, you know, like a photo memory folder. <laughs> like I wrote these then, uh, so on and so forth. So it's more about that than, than anything else. I think if there's anything that kind of ties them together, it's just watching my journey through this COVID stuff and experimenting with all this, uh, you know, all these fun toys and stuff. So on, on your, on your self-titled album the, or the self-titled album, you put together a number of videos for the songs yeah. on that one. Yeah, that was really fun. And it was, uh, yeah, I guess the timing was really good because of just the winter storms that we had and the, mm -hmm. all the lake was just getting pummeled with waves and kind of almost getting flooded and all that stuff. So I got some pretty good footage. Um, and you know, with the phones these days, they take right. such incredible video. I mean, obviously you can get a lot better, but like, can you imagine having that when we were young, young, like right, to make yeah. a video, how much we would have loved that. It's crazy how accessible it is now. So, you know, and you can film something beautiful. You don't even have to be a good cinematographer or anything. Just know what looks beautiful. What does right. put your phone on it, <laughs> you know? So it's fun doing that for sure. But, All right. So, yeah, I don't know. so you've got you've got the next album you kind of are, are are working on. Uh, so, and you th you you really do think they'll probably come out in twenty twenty one? No, it, me but, probably not. But, okay. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? If if it was like, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm saying I'm gonna try to stick to that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. yeah, and in the meantime, just you, you know, like usually I, I ask what you what you'll be up to, like live performances, but obviously we don't have. <laughs> yeah, live performances, but um, you just keep creating, and yeah, just and, creating. Um, right now I'm just kind of taking a step back, um, just for like mental uh, health sake. Mm -hmm. I need to just regain some perspective. Um, okay. Also, I have uh, my own business and stuff that I started in like March. So I'm trying to put everything into that and get that going uh, to a point of um, where it doesn't really need me to steer anymore. I can, I can focus on the stuff I want to focus on. Okay. Um, and yeah, just being married, loving my dogs, being in the house, working and getting some perspective. And yeah, that's about it. Living, growing, right. learning. Yeah. <laughs> So Ray, yeah, Rain's Daily's latest e or single is titled "Make Yourself Look Happy." It follows up, uh, I guess, an album which is USA 2020 Part One. All of it's available on your Bandcamp page, rainsdaily.bandcamp.com, spelled R-E-I-N-S-D-A-I-L-Y.bandcamp.com. Nice job. <laughs> very cool. All cool. right, thank you very much. Appreciate the time. All right, yeah, no problem. Thanks. Thank you. Great talking to you, Craig. Yep.